So this is the Sofin SB10 Pro. Uh, this has got the Android version 2 firmware on here. Uh, it has support for both an AA battery as well as a 14500 lithium uh, battery on here. So that is great to have that in such a small unit. Um, to have the, the AA support um, on this. Uh, so yeah, going on to like the build quality, build is uh, fairly decent. Uh, there always is a few little places where the anodizing has come off. Um, you know, it just wasn't there when I unboxed it. Um, but yeah, I don't know uh, what happened there, whether it just didn't get applied properly. It had been um, rough, you know, handled roughly maybe a bit uh, before they packaged it. I'm just not sure. Um, but the the tail design on this, you know, you've got the lanyard attachment, um, got the lanyard attachment on both both points here. But uh, they've designed it as if they meant for it to be maybe a tail switch version on here. But having the the both the sides risen there just makes it sort of unstable for uh, if that if for tail sanding. If it's not a hard flat surface like this. I find that it just it topples over quite easily. There's a, a video later on uh, after this of me out, out in the woodshed um, and I placed this down onto uh, the chopping block, a uh, bit of wood there and it took me about three about three minutes to actually get it to tail stand. Um, yeah, so that is just something to point out. I would have rather just a nice flat base on this. Uh, you know, you've got... Um, quite okay kneeling on this uh, just a, a good bit of grip which is good on such a small little model some of them just have uh, a smooth ano anodizing on this and it's just it's just too slippery so it's good to have a bit of grip um, but uh, a little bit of uh, shallow fins on here it's okay um, so yeah it is that the smooth anodizing on this and that is a little bit of an issue with the switch also uh, being smooth even though it is risen a bit um, on here it is still you know with the rest of it uh, with the smooth anodizing it just I've just missed the switch trying to find it in the dark a bit um, but you know that it's okay the button uh, gives a very good solid uh, click to it no issues with the switch at all no play to it on mine uh, so that's great uh, it's got uh, Samsung LH 351D um, LED in it. Uh, mine was uh, CRI of 90 and a 5000K color temperature. Um, that's got the orange pure reflector on here. So it gives out um, a good beam outside, uh, but inside on a white wall, I just noticed that uh, there's a bit of a, a ring on the outer spill. Uh, just a little bit, uh, just enough to mention it, but not. Uh, something that I'd worry about outside in use. Uh, the clip on here is quite firm. Uh, you know, not too much, it's just okay. But I did find that um, if you try and, if you just pull it out from here, the clip tries to move away a bit too too easily from the body. I'd like to, uh, to grasp hold of that just a bit more firmly on there. Um, but yeah, so there is, uh, there was a bug uh, firmware bug on the first batch and it is on mine but it's fixed now and that when when you go to turn it off it would first drop down to moonlight and then it would switch off from there um, but you know that's been fixed so it's no problem um, but uh, but yeah so that, like the, th the threads are quite good no issue with the threads uh, nice well lubricated as well there is um, no spring on the positive end just a solid contact uh, with the physical reverse polarity protection um, on the driver so I'll uh, we'll go over the uh, so I, I measured uh, a range of 131 meters they had it specced at 119 um, and they've got it rated at 900 lumens but it fell short of that I uh, got it to uh, at turn on it was 787 lumens and at the 30 second mark for the ANSI rating it was only 722 lumens um, with a better battery installed 9 amp battery I was able to it was only able to get about 30 lumens more 
so the battery is, isn't the limiting uh, factor in this uh, little light here so I'm not quite sure why it's getting the lower performance uh, because on something like the Sofern HSO5 it was um, up over a thousand lumens with the same battery um, yeah but uh, very good uh, little light anyway Is that, uh, I'll just show my like my runtime graphs um, after the video at the end uh, just after the beam shots but I uh, just um, I set this to the a 55 degrees Celsius step down on here um, and it got uh, just under four minutes before it stepped down so that's great uh, it gives a lot of light for such a small thing um, and it's able to sustain that output uh, for quite a good runtime uh, but yeah I just go over the go over the UI on this so with the Android version 2 you have a simple UI which it's shipped out in uh, but an unlockable advanced UI that you can get a whole lot of different settings like um, candlelight mode, lightning storm for just for a bit of fun um, you know sunset mode where it dims over an hour and turns off uh, just a, a whole lot of different settings and functions um, but uh, on the simple UI you've got click for on click for off, hold from off gets you starts on the, the moonlight level, moonlight on the simple UI is set at a higher level um, uh, than what it has uh, by default over in the advanced um, but it is still uh, fairly low, I can't uh, measure on my equipment below 3 lumens so I just I can't get a reading on this um, but if you uh, hold from on you get uh, 5 levels and the 5th being the turbo so 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, hold again, drops back down, double double click from here, the turbo, if you double click again, drops you back down to your previous level. Um, you got uh, from off, if you do three clicks, one, two, three, that's battery check. Uh, four clicks from uh, off is the lockout, one, two, three, four. And then hold for a very, very that's the like the very dim uh, moonlight that you'd get in the advanced U on the UI on here. It's just just extremely low. Two clicks and lockout and a hold will get you the high momentary. So uh, from here, there's two different functions. You can do four clicks and we'll just lock it out and turn it off, or otherwise you can uh, do four clicks and hold on the last and that will turn it on. Um, straight from the lockout so it should do the four clicks and a hold one two three four and then just turns on to um, your low there if you want to get into the advanced UI from the simple UI you would just do 10 clicks and hold on that 10th click um, and that will unlock into the, the advanced UI um, but uh, yeah, so it's uh, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One flash to let you know you you switched over, and now you've got that very very dim moonlight. And then you just go through, I think it's seven levels: two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven levels. And then you can configure that to what you want. Uh, and in, in the advanced UI, you can change the uh, from smooth or step to ramping. So at the moment, it's in the step to ramping. And if you do three clicks, one, two, three, then you've got the smooth ramping on this. And then whatever you, you last used, if you switch now back over onto the simple UI, that's what it's going to be. Um, uh, that's what it's going to use. So if we do 10 clicks to switch back over, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's now on the smooth ramping to use. So it's worth pointing out for those that don't know. Um, but yeah, I really uh, suggest or recommend that you do switch it over into the advanced UI. It just unlocks so many functions. And if you do mess it up, you can just do a factory reset and you're back in the simple UI again. You know, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, on my video outside, I uh, put it onto candlelight mode in the woodshed with a diffuser on. Um, but yeah, it's just too many things to go over. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy anyway. I've been doing my reviews a bit differently now, and that's uh, just walking around 
with my camera, with my gimbal, and then I just do my beam shots at the end. I just uh, uh, just wanted to change my style a bit. Uh, I was getting a bit bored of what I was doing, so hope you guys like it anyway. Now we're just outside, and this is, this is just on moonlight mode. There's my dog here. So on level two, let's go for a walk. It's level three, that bike is about uh, 15 meters away. So that's level three. That shed over there is uh, about 40 meters, so that's level four. That's your level five and turbo there. So I'll just spin around. The house is about 60 meters over there. So yeah, it's very, uh, it's a very good performing little light. This one, you know, good beam on it. I would uh, like to see like a niche LED used, um, maybe a bit warmer color temperature than this, but that's all sort of personal preference. So I'm just going for a walk over to the shed now. It's just on turbo. So uh, just dog kennels there. It's for our two dogs. A woodshed in here and uh, a couple of goats in there making the making it their home. <laughs> so yeah, I've just hung it up. Uh, just on some string up here with the diffuser on so yeah it really lights up the room with this I always um, hang it up there when I'm chopping the wood so yeah I'd really highly recommend picking up a diffuser if you're going to grab this light it just really comes in handy so that's just on um, your candlelight mode there not sure what these goats think of it. They were, uh, they were sniffing it for a while there and it kept falling over while I was trying to film. It was pretty frustrating. We're just down by our farm shed here. That's just an old boat. Uh, it's been there for about 14 years. Just uh, just where the uh, motor sits, the outboard motor it just went rotten. So dad's been hoping to fix it. But uh, that's just a fertilizer spreader just to go on the back of the tractor. But yeah, this is just a bit of bush. I wanted to walk through and show you guys uh, something a bit different. I was down here for my next torch uh, O Star headlamp review I just did. So I thought this was a. Uh, great spot to, to go for a walk with but yeah there's plenty of light on this it's a great EDC to walk around with
Head on to bay. But yeah, there's enough uh, spill at the feet as well. If I just point this down, you can just sort of see my foot there. So, this is just enough spill to sort of see you at your feet where you're stepping. 